Well, what do you mean? What do you mean made aware of his responsibilities? I'm sure your son is not a savage. Of course Benjamin isn't a savage. Yes, he is. <laughs> Stop him. Why say a thing like that? He's a savage. <laughs> How does he explain his behavior? He doesn't want to discuss it. But he ought to discuss it. Well, he ought to do any number of things. He ought to come here. He ought to discuss it. He ought to be sorry for it. Clearly, you have parenting skills that put us to shame. We hope to improve, but in the meantime, please bear with us. I've been wanting to come back to Broadway for a long time, and this was, you know, one of those dream parts that you just can't turn down. When something comes along like this, it's just, uh, it's like feast, like Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving every day. When I read it for the first time, I looked at it and thought, Yasmina is an awesome, awesome writer. But yes, it's funny, but there's all of these underlayers in it that are that work on so many different kind of levels. I would describe it as, um, as if you're watching Candid Camera and you're seeing the catastrophic, I don't want to say what it is, but it's pretty catastrophic what happens. It's two couples who have a meeting because one of their children has hit the other one's child on the playground. I think that's all you need to know. Then this veneer just um, gets lifted away and um, and the, the animal instinct <laughs> takes, takes over. Stop it, Ronnie! Stop what? Take everything out of proportion! I don't give a sh <laughs> You force yourself to rise above petty-mindedness and finish up humiliated and completely on your own. Yes! You know, it's seriously funny, this play. And when I say serious, I mean, it is, it, it is to be regarded as a serious play with a hell of a lot of laughter involved. The strength of the company is that we really uh, are vested in the ensemble, and you have to, in this particular play, you, you're just out, you're out, all four of you are out, just out there like on a little, <laughs> little raft. When you only have two and a half weeks of rehearsal, a very complicated play. I mean, it's like, <laughs> It's like we're a little troop that's been to Vietnam and made it, you know. We survived it. Just been kind of through a, a roller coaster ride, and every night it's different, and we're on this ride together. So it feels very wonderful to be on this ride with these particular actors. Do not come and see this play if you um, if it's your first date. Do not come and see this play if you're thinking of having a family. Do come and see this play if you if you if you're over all that, and you can enjoy looking at two couples um, hurling themselves towards disaster. It's just a fantastic evening of theater. You come in and you go, "Where's this going?" I have no idea where this is going. I can only say that it goes someplace that is so wild um, that people. I think people leave the theater going. Oh my God, what just happened? You told me you didn't want to have this meeting. I said I didn't think it was a very good idea. <gasps> it was a good idea. Oh, please. Anybody? You told me. <laughs> you told me that you didn't think this was a good idea, Michael. I think so. You think so? My little drop. Didn't you have to go? Oh, I've been managed a small glass now that we've come this far. Really? <laughs>